Hey guys, how's it going? So I want to bring you today a little sort of midweek tip here, and it's going to be on clan formatting. Uh, I used to be the type that if I wanted a specific part of my code to, to stick out or if I wanted to imply that something was important to me or remember my place, something crazy, I would do stuff like this where I would just indent it a lot or just do a lot of stuff, but I've started to not do that anymore. And I kind of like having my code nicely formatted. So I'm going to introduce you to Clang formatting. Um, some people call it C-Lang. I call it Clang. Uh, doesn't really matter. And it's going to be just a file that will live in your project. And that a lot of IDEs, uh, even text editors, just like VS Code here, will respect the formatting and format your code according to what that, um, what that file specifies. Um, there are plugins that you can use here in VS Code, but since not everybody's using VS Code, I'm going to show you how to actually generate the uh, Clang format file. So you're going to want to go to this website. Um, here you go. I'll go ahead and open it up for you guys. And you're going to download this editor. Um, I can, I'll, I'll put that link in the descriptions. Uh, once you download that, you'll have something that looks like this. Where is it? Uh, we can close that and it's going to look just like this and you're going to have two options. The first option is this thing that sort of detects your style, I guess, or it tries to and um, then recommends, you know, certain settings based on that, whatever. I don't like it. Um, it doesn't do a great job. So I just go straight to the format configurator. So you're going to open that up and it's going to give you this section here. So what I would normally do is uh, open up some code, like here's my code, copy, and I'm going to stick it in there. Um, I'm sorry, I can't zoom into this thing right now. Um, so once you're here, then you, you have all these switches that you can turn on or off depending on what you want. Uh, basically, include blocks, preserve, some stuff. Honestly, I don't know what on earth they mean. Um, and then you can have you you go here to this select style and you can just select commonly used styles For example, I like the Microsoft style So as you can see here it went and made changes on my code that didn't comply with the Microsoft style So this I had a big space right here. It removed that space um, The while had the uh, curly brackets on the same line it put it to a new line which is how I like it anyways. I just did that uh, for demonstration purposes. Uh, it did it had too many spaces or tabs on this print F and it fixed it. Um, so yeah, so once you have that, um, you'll generate the file. But before we do that, let's, uh, well here, I'll just show you. Um, so we'll generate this file and we'll do that by exporting Clang format. So you click on this button and I'm going to save it here in my main. Uh, you don't even need to give it a, a name, honestly. So it's there, it's saved, and now it should pop up in my, here it is. So it popped up in my project, and there it is. That is the file, and these are some switches that I had uh, previously switched on or off, and it remembered, that's why they popped up here. Otherwise, you would just see this. Um, anyways. So that file is there and now you can get Visual Studio IDE. Well, you have two options actually. You can do, you can select all, control A, and you do control K, F, and as you can see, like even the number of lines changed because it, it formatted for me. Um, so you can do that or you can have Visual Studio format your code automatically every time you save. And you're gonna go to your set VS code dot, uh, dot VS code settings JSON file. And you're going to add this element here. You're going to first, you're going to add a comma right there. You can add this. Control S, save. Now, every time I hit save, let me kind of remove that space. Let me uh, put that back over there. So I'm going to hit save. Well, I'll just show you guys save. And you're going to see it's going to reformat when it saves. So right there, it just reformatted my code. Um, and any switches that you have right here, that you set they'll pop up um, in the format so for example I have this switch called space after logical not 
So after a logical knot like this one, it it'll, it makes it heavy space. So I can easily edit that right here and just put false. Save this file. And observe this right here, I guess. Now hit save again. And it removes that space. So this is a nice way uh, to keep your code nice and tidy without having to um, constantly you know, go on and, and fix things. The cool thing about this too is you can use GitHub Actions and um, use like a linting program uh, that will check your code to make sure it you know stays according to any given standard that you give it. Um, so that's about it guys. It was just a short video just on that. Um, I, like, I guess like a little midweek kind of thing. Um, so I'll leave a link for that website for this thing in the description. All right, guys. Bye.